Hey, how's it going? I'm False Proof. Welcome to my world. It's the name of the game. It's not actually my world. This is an action RPG where you can make worlds and then share them with people, which is a very cool concept. And I'm actually kind of excited to get into this. So first things first, got to thank the game creators, the developers of this game for giving me a code for the game. So I think what we can do is obviously this is the hub world of the game. We can switch around our little character guy because he looks he looks kind of emotionless. Okay, so my world where action RPG begins. Okay, so basically, I guess this is a tutorial Hello, video. My name's okay, Dave. I'm the lead developer of my world. And welcome to our tutorial. Oh hi, Dave. On using my world. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make fun so of your accent. This first one covers what's called the hub world, which is your home. Everything that you can do. I, I really like how we pick the same character, Dave. That really gets me. So, I mean, so far what I figured out is you can click, swing a sword, uh, and then obviously you have one, two, three, four to do some nice special attacks. Oh my god. What is that move, and how can I do it more? Avoiding damage. Because as much as you want to deal damage to the enemy, if you're dead, you can't deal any. Wow, Dave's right. If you're dead, you can't do anything. Uh, Dave, 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 you're, you're still talking, bud. That was easy. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna make a new world. We're just gonna jump into this willy-nilly. Let's can change the color of things. That's fun. That's fun. Look, now there's a big old pile of water. This is something. I like this. I like this. I'm gonna make a big old spiral up here. And then we'll make a nice old mountain over just this will turn into a mountain now now it's a mountain okay and then there's also just going to be a nice old pyramid there too this is this is completely like unrealistic but hey it's fine or you know we can just build a bunch of churches there is something here that i'm not too keen on dave and that is why can't i select multiple things why can't i have just a world full of abbeys why can my world just not be a world full of churches Press P to pick the height to use. You click to use the chosen height. Oh, oh, ooh. Dave, you are letting me do all sorts of weird stuff. Okay, so here's my really crazy looking world. Let's just try this out. Every time I walk, I should not be able to see the ground. Oh, Dave, I seem to have trapped myself. This, I think this, this is not really Dave's fault. This was more on myself. So I'm going to uh, save this world. We're going to call it absolute garbage. Do you want to submit absolute garbage to the workshop? I'm so sorry to everybody who's going to have to play this workshop host lay browse. Okay. So I think I am definitely not going to be the one who's hosting uh, browse is for those who really want to explore. I just want to jump into something and play. That would be all right. I'm really feeling really pulled towards chicken realm. So I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna grab a little chicken realm. Now we can play chicken realm. All right, whoa, okay. All right, what's, what's the objective here of chicken realm? <laughs> oh, okay. There you are. Lady Dizzle of Shinizzle's favorite chicken is ill. Head up the road to her house. She's waiting for you to help her. Okay. Hi there, Lady Dizzle. Yes, you're here. My chickens have been cursed and keep falling off their heads. Can you fetch my Tome of Healing? I keep it at the top of Death Mountain because reasons. Why are people so stupid in RPGs? And yeah, that's, that's not good. Nope, not what I wanted. Oh, okay, I see I gotta level up. I see I gotta level up right here. Ooh, damn. Oh, I went up to level three because I killed that giant tree thing. So I'm gonna try to cheat this. Oh, okay, that worked. A lot better than I thought it was going to. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna halt myself real quick. Oh. Why does this keep happening? Oh, oh, I, I see I got my, I, I see somehow I got the tome. I didn't even need to kill these skeletons. Now my chickens will be balanced and happy, but while you are here... Oh, I got a level up. Nice, 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 nice. Wait, I, I didn't go up any levels. Nothing changed. Can you find my skulls? My great-great-grandfather gave me those for my fourth birthday. I had bad allergies last... No, no. You know what? Nah, nah. I think we get a pretty good idea of how the quests work. I think the one other thing I want to try out was multiplayer so we're just going to go and see if someone else is really cool and we'll play let us join their multiplayer server online worlds there are none since no one is gonna let me join their multiplayer server i might as well just make my own so i can use any of these uh setup fields or you know i can use my own 
Let's use one of the preset ones. That's probably a better idea. Match starting. Three, two, one. That's a very long match drawn. Okay, since I feel somewhat cheated by multiplayer, we're gonna look at one of the top ranked worlds in here. We're gonna go by most popular. Let's do most popular of all, top rated all time. So we're gonna, we're gonna try this one. It's called Home Sweet Home. Not sure how this is going, but uh, the creator of this game is in Rocket League. He's, he's just taking all his time, you know, playing Rocket League. He should be focusing on his My World world. Home sweet home. We're in this like nice little area. And we also, oh, there's our little cottage. That's cool. So if I read the sign, the sign says nothing. This is like, this is like a weird portal and it's taking us to a new area. Whoa, cool, bro. There's not a whole lot here in the old hellscape there, bud. Unless I go down. I'm going down, aren't I? Yes, yes, I probably am. Okay. There's a sign in here. Okay, we're gonna fight a couple of skeletons. There we go. Oh, nice level up. I see I've retained my levels from before. That's kind of weird, but like not too mad about it either. Oh, oh, cool. It's like a full, it's like a rest place. Cool, okay. That's dope. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I am just trying to explore the hellscape and not glitch out. That's what I'm trying to do here and unfortunately this does not seem to be working as well as i wanted to and he's still chasing me isn't he he's still chasing me and this is not going as well as i would have liked and that's it okay they made me go down this giant hill for nothing i am i am flustered and i am fully rested too i'm also fully rested that's cool but i think that oh i, I think i get the idea i get the idea here so hopefully this gave you like a pretty good first impression of my world a lot of the initial foundation is there it's really cool that you can build worlds and you can share them with people you can play pvp and you can explore other people's worlds that's really cool the problem is is that it's still very bare bones uh a lot of it was mostly just me kind of navigating trying to just figure stuff out um a lot of the functions were a little bit broken like it would have been nice if i could just you know place as many things as i would have liked you know very similar to how you do it in like the sims if I could just, you know, maybe select like a church and then just put like 500 churches, you know, just to satisfy my own curiosity because I'm just crazy. Another thing I think would really help people get assimilated to the game would be if you had some preset worlds that people could take, modify to their liking, and then, you know, add, their, add in their own quests. It might be even better to do like a couple preset ones with quests built in. But I also think that having tutorials inside the builder will help people get more familiarized with making their own worlds because a lot of them do seem somewhat bare bones, like a couple of basic quests or, you know, mostly just them constructing the worlds. Um, obviously, I do understand this is still early access, and I think that it's definitely worth the price of admission if you're looking for an action RPG slash world builder game slash PVP arena game. I think this could be something really cool. Just tell people right away, you know, there's a couple of PvP arena servers that are set up at all times. Uh, there's also a couple of, you know, preset worlds. And I know that's going to take time. And I'd like to see this work out because I do like the concept a lot. And hopefully, if you will like the video, you might want to check this out for yourself. It is on sale 25% off this week. So make sure you go pick it up if you liked this video. But that's going to do it for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, thank you to the game creators for giving me the chance to cover this game. I'm False Proof, and I'll see you next time.